where this wireframe I found at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to turn it into this rabbit. So you're going to need the wireframe from the Dollar Tree here. I have a pair of wire cutters, scissors, a couple styrofoam balls, X-Acto blade, these earmuffs I found at the thrift store, some white paint, black paint, and brown paint, these little eyelashes I found at the thrift or the Dollar Tree, and I got that uh, broom at the Dollar Tree, some little bit of duct tape, foam core board, and this fur jacket I found at the thrift store. It was already falling apart, so I thought I would repurpose it. So the first thing I did is I took the frame and the foam core board here and I traced around the outside and then the inside of the little ring. And then I just started drawing on here to kind of give it a different shape. So I drew it out how I wanted it. And then I just trimmed the wire right in the center of the little divot there where I drew it. And I'm just gonna bend the wire up. And then I'm just gonna take that duct tape and I'm just gonna tape down um, where I bend it. And if it comes apart, I just tape those areas up a little bit too. So I'm just gonna go through and just trim them right in between where I drew it. So like halfway mark where I put the little arch. And then I'm just gonna tape it up here. There's so many options you could do with this, just kind of have fun with it. I just went with however it kind of bent and just, you know, you could draw it out on a piece of paper first and then just kind of play with it. But this is what I did with mine. I kind of wanted a little more of a um, baby face kind of rabbit. So then I just started messing with the ears and just bended them the way I liked them. And then I just kind of took it apart and I wanted the bottom part a little thicker down there. So I just took some tape, taped that area too. And I took the other ear off and retaped it where I wanted it. And then I just keep bending on them till I get them just how I want them. And then after I get it right how I want it, I'm gonna lay it back on the foam core board and I'm gonna draw around it with my pencil again. And then I'm gonna cut it out with my X-Acto knife because I'm gonna put that on the back so I want to stuff it a little bit with some uh, polyfill here. And I just wanted something to keep it um, stuffed so when I glued it, it didn't fall out. So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of creating a back. So just cut it out. You could use scissors. It doesn't really have to be perfect because you're not going to see it anyways because you're going to wrap the fabric fur around it. So then I'm going to take my fur here. I'm going to cut out a piece of it so it's larger than what I need because I want to stuff it a little thicker. So I want to have that extra area. And also you're going to need extra to glue it on the back side. So be careful not to cut it too small. And you could go to the fabric store and get some fake fur. And you could get different colors. I'm thinking about doing white rabbit, a black rabbit, gray rabbit. Um, I think I might do a workshop with my um, people that want to come to my classes. So here I'm just cutting out some more pieces to do for the ears. And when you're putting the fur on, I want all the fur to go upwards. So I want the, the hair to lay up, looks more natural. So I put the uh, fur on the back side and I'm just gonna glue it on the front to the front side on the ears. I wanted to kind of give it that look of a real ear and I just kind of tucked and folded it in and glued it on the tip. I made it actually a little longer than the actual poster board here or the foam core board. And then I'm just trying to figure out what kind of fur do I want it to look like on the inside. And I tore apart the earmuffs. There's some like little, um, I don't know what you call that, fleece on one side and then a fur on the other. And I think I'm going to end up using the fur on the ears. So now I'm working on the other ear. I'm just folding it to fit and trimming it. I just fold it around and just started gluing it. It doesn't have to match because if you look up pictures of rabbits, their ears aren't always matching. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section here and I want to make sure that the fur is going upward. It doesn't look like it is there, but I did end up turning it around and putting it the opposite direction. So I'm putting some polyfill underneath there to give it some thickness. And then I'm trying to figure out where I want the eyes. I took that foam ball there and I cut it in half. So here I turn the fur going upwards and I'm just going to attach it down to the top edge first, just a little bit right there 
just to kind of give it some section there and do it on each side. And then I'm getting my poly polyfill positioned good and then I'm just gonna tack it at the bottom. And then I want some indentations where I'm gonna put the eye. So I put a little glue right up inside and I'm gonna do it to the other side and I'm gonna push down and hold it there because that's where I'm gonna glue the eyes on. So I want that to stick downward. If you glue it all the way around, you're not gonna be able to do that. So make sure you do that prior. And now I'm just gonna start gluing it all around the back side. I'm just gonna do little sections at a time and hold it till it gets cool so it doesn't come off. I just go all the way around. So I'm gonna do one side and then the other side, and then I'm gonna glue the bottom down. making sure it's how I like it before I really glue it. Oh, I did take that end off and I did glue it like I did for the eyes right at the mouth. And I put some glue on the front side and pushed it down there, kind of right below his nose or his chin. And then I finished putting it and gluing it all on the back side. And I just trimmed it as I needed. It is kind of messy trimming fur. Okay, so now I'm cutting down the eyes a little bit. I cut them in half and then just kind of trimmed on it a little bit around the edges to make it a little bit smaller. So now I'm gonna paint my eyes and I'm just going to paint them black first. And then I'm gonna dry them in between my layers here with my hair dryer to speed up the process. Drying it in between. Now, if you found some big real eyes, like maybe you were at the thrift store and you found a big uh, animal, stuffed animal, you could take its eyes out. And that's another thing to do. You could take an animal that you find at the thrift store and use the fur off of it and, um, and then make this into this. So now I just painted it brown here on the centers kind of a big brown there area. And then I'm gonna fill it back in with some white. Actually, I'm gonna use some more black first. I'm gonna make a round, a smaller round pupil here, drawing it in between. And then I'm gonna add some of the white, kind of on the outer edge here. Just added some white. And then I just put some little dots on there too. You'll see later in the video, I did make that white part a little bigger. I wanted it to show up more on the front of the rabbit. So now I'm gonna go back to the rabbit and I'm gonna fur or glue in some fur for the ears. I'm trying to figure out if I want the fur or that little um, fleece piece. I ended up wanting to use the fur in the ears. And then I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want this to look here. So I'm going back to the fur and I'm gonna fill in the ears with the fur. And it's not very big, so I had to use two pieces. So put the little piece on first and then the other piece, the fur will hang over it so you really won't notice that edge. So I'm just cutting it down and making it fit the way I want it. And then I'm just gonna start gluing it in. I think it's turning out super cute. You could have used white in here. I just like the pink, so I went ahead and went with the pink. It's a little picky to get the fur just right. I wanted it to make sure it lays over the top part so it looks like it's natural and doesn't look like two pieces. It looks just like one piece. Okay, so now I'm gonna use that little piece of fleece here for the nose. Well, first I'm gonna Mod Podge the eyes. I wanted them to look shiny. So I went ahead and did that and just sped up the process with my hair dryer, put a couple coats on there. I'm just gonna trim off some pieces 
and I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's gray. I really wanted a black broom, but they didn't have one, but I ended up having one already at my house, so I am going to cut some black little whiskers too. So here I'm gluing on the eyelashes, and at first I had them on the outer edge, and I didn't like that, so I took it off and I glued the eyelashes on the inner edge of the foam eye there. But when you start doing it, you'll see which way you like it better. I kind of liked it that way, so I changed it. So now I pushed over the fur a little bit and then trimmed it out so the eyes kind of lay in there and just put some hot glue and just pressed them into place. Be careful not to trim out too much hair or too much fur there. And you just glue them into place. Okay, so now I decided I'm going to use another piece of fur and I'm going to make his little kind of like around his mouth. And it's basically um, like a, a U shaped on one end and then rounded on the top. I should say like a W on the bottom. And then I'm just going to see, do I want to put any polyfill in there? No, I decided I'm just going to glue it straight down. So just glue it around the edges a little bit. And I went all the way around. Just on the edges. Be careful not to show any glue. So you want to have it back a little bit. And now I'm going to take the little edges and I'm going to fluff it up. You're going to see here, I put a little um, glue there and I fold, I pushed it back, put a little glue and then pushed it upward to hide the edge. Just went all the way around and did that. And I'm going back to the nose. I'm going to go ahead and glue the nose on, trimming it up as I need it. Okay, so here I am going to use some yarn and I have a thicker yarn and a thinner yarn and I use the thicker yarn right under the nose and I use two thinner yarns to make the mouth. And then I decided to make a little mouth here at the bottom and I used the thicker yarn and then I used a couple layers of it. And I just filled it in, trimming it as I needed it. Okay, so now um, we're going to do a little more white on the eyes. I just wanted it to be a little thicker. So I just went through and just added some more white. I did go back on top of that with some Mod Podge later after it dried. So now I'm going to cut some of these off. And he, I found here's my black room. It's kind of more of a dark gray. And I trimmed off the furry edge part, so I just have that. And now I'm folding it, kind of dragging it with my fingernail and bending them, kind of curving them. I didn't want them straight. And then now I'm going to take that and I'm going to uh, push over some of the fur, smooth it out of the way, put a little glue on the end. I'm going to put it inside the fur and then squeeze the fur around it. So I'm just going to go through and do all of the whiskers. I'm just going to do these real fast here. And I just did all the darker gray, and then I went through and added a few lighter gray in there. But you could do whatever you think you want. I just tried to match each side. Remember, just to move the fur out of the way, add a little glue, Poke it in and then just kind of hold it there till it dries. And I think it's super cute. I decided I want to put a little bit of whiskers around its eyes. So I just added two little ones right at the top near its eye. And I just did it on both sides. I just kind of bent them again a little bit. I 
think he turned out so unique. I love him. So there's my Mod Podge. I put some more on the eyes to cover up the white where I did it because the paint was really flat. Okay, so now I can't decide what bow I want to put. Now you could put it up by his ear for a girl, but I want to make him look like a boy, kind of like Peter Rabbit. If I had blue, it would be really cute. It would really look like Peter Rabbit. But I went with the checkered here or the plaid, um, black and white, and just hot glued it to the bottom. And then just hot glued the little um, parts of the bow down here. And I think it turned out super cute. Now on the back, I'm just going to make a little tab so I can hang him up. And I think it turned out super cute. 